What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, it's a community, it's a community type video. It's a, it's a video that I want all of us to come together as a community and function as a community and decide as a community. Um, what cars is best to buy at this current economy where gas prices are crazy and car prices are crazy, but some cars right now I feel like have gone down a little just because gas prices are crazy. And that being said, um, I'm looking at the market right now. I'm trying to figure out what is the best cars to buy now because if you guys think about it right now, no one really wants a V8. No one wants a V10. No one wants anything over a V10, a V12. That's why actually BMW discontinued their V12s. I mean, there's really no need to have six MPG. You know, like that's crazy. Actually, I think they disconnected their V10s too. So yeah, um, crazy fuel economy, you know, like great power, but crazy fuel economy. But yeah, guys, I'm looking at the market right now. I'm looking at E60 M5s, I'm looking at E92 M3s, I'm looking at E39 M5s, mainly because those cars, um, the naturally aspirated ones, I mean, I mean, there are obviously the, the, the M6s and the M5s, the new ones, the V8 twin turbos, there's the M8s, the V8 twin turbos, like I checked out in the other video you guys saw. Um, those cars are amazing, um, but at the same time, I, I, I don't feel like anything is different than a naturally aspirated car. And as of right now, um, with those older ones, the NA2 M3s, the E60 M5s, I feel like eventually they'll become more desirable um, just because of BMW's direction with their cars. They're gonna be tr they, they have to follow the strict emission laws. So that being said, they're going to have to push more towards electric cars, whether that's going to be hybrid, um, you know, you know, hybrid six cylinders, hybrid eight cylinders, or full on electric like the i4 and the iX currently that they have just now released, which is pretty cool, honestly. I kind of like the i4. But at the end of the day, for people that are true car enthusiasts that love M cars and that love that naturally aspirated um, high revving engines, are gonna miss these cars. And I, I just feel like there's no better time than right now to get an E92 M3 or an E39 M5, or possibly even, I would think, an E60 M5 or the M6 M, uh, V10. You know, because the thing is with those cars, they are very expensive to upkeep, and I feel like they're amazing cars. You know, I'm I'm, I'm not I'm just gonna stop it there. We're not talking about the E60 M5. I'm honestly just focusing on the E92 M3s, the E chassis M3s, the E39 M5s, just because I think those cars are the best cars in terms of value um, in the next couple of years. Let me know down below, guys, if I sound kind of crazy or if I'm not making any sense, because again, this is a community. What cars do you guys think is the best car to buy right now at the current economy so that you can actually enjoy it and at the same time, it's gonna go up because of just where BMW, the direction they're going with their cars and you know, you're, the car you end up buying is gonna be more sought out for because people want the naturally aspirated stuff, I feel like. At least I do, at least I do. I'm a huge, I love naturally aspirated cars. Like, I love twin turbo cars as well, because of the power, the power is amazing. But at the end of the day, the sound of a naturally aspirated, the high revving is just, for me, I enjoy that way more. And it's just, it's more, how do you explain it? Like, it's more, uh, like you're more controlled. Like it's not like power just hits you out of nowhere like a turbo car or the, you know, electric car is kind of like just throws it back to your seat. I mean, that's cool and all, you know, speed is cool. But at the same time, I don't know, something about a naturally aspirated car, the sound and just you, you're, you're, literally your foot, whatever your foot goes in the pedal is exactly what you get out of the car which is just it's, it's like it, you feel like you're in complete control which is why again i love naturally aspirated cars and why again um you know the e36 and the e46s are going up in value like crazy because everyone wants those um they get on fuel amazing cars they drive great great track cars they look great still um yeah so they're they're pretty sought out for us but that's not what i'm trying to buy right now for me i'm making this video for those of you guys who want to enter the m world but are like what cars should we get so I don't know guys, like I said, I think E92 M3 or the E90 M3s or the E39 M5s are the best cars to buy at this current economy because there's gonna be no like real like demand for it right now. No one wants to go buy an E92 M3 and go dump hella gas money right now or an E39 dump hella gas money. But for those of you guys who do have that extra bucks to spare and get a nice car and just pay that extra gas right now in hopes, you know, the gas prices come back down while more people go electric, there's less demand for gas, I'm hoping. And then, you know, in result, I am no geographical or whatever you call that stuff. I, I have no idea of anything with the economy whatsoever. So I'm making this video uh, for you guys honestly to help me and I help you guys is my hypothesis accurate? Like, like, let me know down below. Cause I'm like, I'm really curious to whether I should keep the E92 M3 long-term or not. 
and whether or not I should pick, you know, pick up an Ether 9 or 5 right now, just because again, the demand for them, I don't know if they're as high as they were before gas prices skyrocketed, and possibly even the E60 M5. Is it the right time to buy that car more than ever? Just because, I mean, no one wants to dump, you know, money into an eight mile per gallon car right now. For those of you guys who are also waiting on the builds, my E92 M3 is getting back from the shop, getting fully polished, all that good stuff. I have a couple things for it as soon as it gets back. In terms of the i3, yes, I actually still own the i3. I got a full on electric car because of um, gas. Like, that's a reality. That's just, you know, that's life. And, you know, an i3 seemed practical until it came with frame damage on both strip towers and undercarriage. So, um, it was bad. It was really bad. So that's it back to auction. It actually sold. I lost about six grand on that. That'll be a whole video in itself and how, you know, I make mistakes in life like everyone else, but that one was my biggest mistake I've made so far. So waiting on the check on that car. Um, in, in terms of, uh, the, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's pretty much the two updates on that car. The, the 328 has just been a 328. It's been great. It's been reliable. It's not as fun. I'm not going to lie. I love my E92 M3, but I'm waiting for that to come back. But uh, in the meantime, guys, um, we're gonna be looking out for some new builds on the channel. I'm actually heading over to Copart right now, heading over to Martinez, heading over to Antelope, and heading over to Sacramento Coparts to check out a couple more cars, some M cars, some not M cars, some X cars, you guys know what I mean. So I'm super excited to check out those cars. But in the meantime, I kinda wanted to just make this video to stir up a community down below and, and just see what kind of cars you guys would buy right now because I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be financially smart. Just took a huge loss. You guys know, $6,000, big loss. Probably even a little more, honestly. But it's life, it's life. So I'm just thinking what car to buy to enjoy life, but at the same time, be financially smart. I am no guru, I am no expert in finances, um, but I like to think that um, I'm trying to get ahead of the game and um, I hope some of you guys do as well So I'm just trying to help you guys again. Just stir up the comments down below so we can all help each other as a community So yeah guys, just trying to figure out the best car to buy right now at the current economy I kind of want to stir up a little community in the comments down below and just figure out Do you guys think I'm accurate? Do you guys think the E92 M3s and the E39s are gonna go up like crazy? Or do you guys think another car, another M car is gonna go up like crazy in the near future? And obviously when I say go up like crazy, I mean as long as it goes up in value You know, we're all, you know, aiming in the right direction because ultimately everyone wants a nice car and everyone wants to enjoy something but at the same time no one likes losing money so I'm um, just trying to think financially responsibly um, for the next build so we don't take two hits in a row um, because um, yeah so do you think my hypothesis is accurate is buying um, the car that no one wants to buy right now a good idea or am I making a financially bad uh, decision well all rewards come with risks <laughs> let me know down below guys without further ado it's gonna have to conclude this video i'm heading over to martinez probably first and uh i hope we can get you guys a build tomorrow like i'm hoping soon like really soon without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out